Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so I know last week I had done the video um, on the Volkswagen Jetta 2013 where I had a SRS airbag light turn on and used uh, this tool, this uh, OBD11 to essentially uh, clear the faulty code on the dash and um, remove the light. Um, so what I wanted to do today was make a quick video about OBD11 um, and the apps it has. So I've already gone ahead and essentially um, taken this OBD11 OBD reader, put it in the OBD in the car, and then turn on my Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and get connected. Um, obviously it's gonna ask me for this again, so I'm gonna do OBD11. And just making a quick video to talk about the apps uh, it has and what you can do with the apps. And what I've learned is it's not specifically to the wind. I think it's specifically to the car and some of the options you want to be careful when you code it once this gets connected um, because your options might not be available and I'll show you what else I'm talking about. So obviously we're not doing any scanning so we're going to click on this. No, hold on. Um, and to click on the car. Uh, from there you can click on different options in here. Obviously gauges, control units, you can do long coding. There's a history, apps. So today we're gonna to be talking about the is apps, the applications. So you'll notice um, this is a 2013 Jetta, I believe 2.0 base. Uh, there's no premium model, there's no folding mirrors and stuff. And you'll notice um, on the uh, app itself, it's telling me a uh, bunch of different options in here like ECS deactivation, auto folding mirrors, obviously, I can do it, but it's a waste of credits because I know for a fact that this car does not have auto folding mirrors at all. Uh, because if you look at them, uh, they're not gonna fold. Um, mirror link um, in motion, obviously, as you can see, I believe this is RNS 215, the standard ones, it's not gonna work, but you, if you have the head unit that has mirror link enabled, you can essentially use it with it, highway lights, these, these are the standard halogen lights. Uh, does not have the LED light package on it, so this will not work, but if you do have it, um, you can use highway lights um, and code the car that way. High beam uh, speed threshold, um, what that is, is basically, uh, depending on the speed you set it to, obviously you would need to do it for um, this is showing kilometers, so you would need to be sure that um, you set that to, if you're in US, into miles, uh, if you're in Europe and other places around the world, uh, kilometers will work. Um, um, rain lights, uh, you can do rain lights in here. I'm gonna leave them blank because this one does not even have fog lights on it. Um, what I do wanna actually try is need needle sweep. Um, I know this is standard car, it doesn't have it, but let's see if this works with it. Um, since we're talking about it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on uh, from the on setting, and then I'm going to hold it down. And it says it's a success, so after the video is done, what I want to do is I'm going to make a video, see if I can, all the functions that I've turned on, if they actually work or not. Um, so it seems like it did go through because it says success, and also it took my credits down to 289. Um, fog lights with high beam obviously like I mentioned before I don't have fog lights so there's no point of using that or you can do that with that if you wanted to I've done it on one of my other cars where the fog lights will come on with the high beam um, and doesn't turn the um, fog lights off if they're running during the daytime uh, daytime running lights with ADL uh, don't have it so I'm not gonna code it but if you wanted to you could code it with this way wiper control uh, I probably take it to speed of the wiper it refers to, um, yeah, change the logic of front vipers and inter interval and so forth. Um, if some of these do take time, just be patient um, because it is accessing your car over Bluetooth and going that way. So as you can see, we're not gonna do anything. Um, we're gonna go back. Coming home lights, uh, essentially those lights are in your mirror and they point down. Uh, this one, as like I said, it does not have it, so I'm not gonna try to code it, but if you wanted to, what you can do is you can set those lights to turn on 
uh, when you turn your car off um, or when you're leaving and you unlock the car and you get in the car depending on the time you wanted to do it for. Uh, teardrop wiping, um, gonna leave it blank. Daytime running lights, I do have daytime running lights that run on here. Um, they're standard, I don't care so much, but if I wanted to make them bright, I can use this to make them bright. Uh, daytime running light in the, uh, indicator in dashboard. Um, I don't know if this car has it, but for giggles, let's go ahead and get do this um, and see if it works. Uh, it does give me an option to do this, so I'm actually going to set it to on and then I'm going to code it. Um, doesn't seem like it did anything, but we'll see um, corner lights obviously the lights if you're cornering with reverse and stuff um, not gonna do it football lights I know it doesn't have it there are no headlight washers in here uh, remote window function is essentially rolling your windows down with a key fob um, so you can use this key fob right here that I have and if you wanted to hold it down and roll the windows down some of the cars I know lets you even roll them up but I highly doubt this is a standard base uh, Jetta that will let me do that so we're going to leave it blank and then you can also have emergency braking light if you wanted to flash depending on the speed limit i believe by default it's set to set to 60 kilometers around 30 35 miles an hour uh, license plate um, led lamps i don't have led lamps in there so i'm not going to quote it but if you wanted to reset it and quote it you can do that uh, daytime running lights um, option i know um, that's if you want to show it up in your dash uh, as you can see, it's a standard, so it's not going to let me do it. So I'm going to leave it, not touch with it. USA Logic for daytime running lights, corning lights. Probably, I believe it uses your fog lights with that too. Central lock with ignition. Emergency braking light, headlight washer, auto lock, unlock. Um, yeah, so I think, I believe this is set. Yeah, so this is basically, depending on the speed of the car, you can set the car to lock and unlock. Um, if you're really particular about that, you can use this to do it. I am not, so I'm going to leave it blank uh, or leave it how it was before. Acoustics, locking confirmation, already has that, so I'm not going to change that. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, comfort turn signal, so I believe this might be, you know, like when you touch it once, it's going to do it three times. Yeah, so cycle one through. So what, right now, it's set to one, two, three. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna do it, but if you wanted to change it to five, uh, you can do it up in here. Sorry about a little camera shaking. I'm trying to use the phone and make a video myself too. Um, leaving home time, um, essentially this is the same thing we were talking about earlier. Parking lights, um, to turn on low beam, speed threshold, uh, seatbelt warning. I know a lot of people talk about taking the seatbelt off because it's whining and it's annoying and stuff, but safety first. Leave the seatbelt on. It's okay. Just a reminder for you to put your seatbelt on. Um, RNS 310, 315 CD lock. Uh, you can do that. I don't have it, so I'm not going to do it. But if you have one of those 310, 315, there are multiple different settings. Obviously, backup camera, the sensors in the front and rear bumpers, uh, developer menu. If you want to really wanted to do it, you could do that. RNS 510 theme, you can apply those. Hidden menus, um, oil service reset, and I believe that's your mic. And uh, voice commands, heater unlock, and then activate Bluetooth RNS 315. So I think this is one of the features I could have used when I tried to install the 315 in the other video I talked about. That's why I got the SRS light on here. Uh, I did not have the OBD 11 at that time, so I left it uh, blank. Um, but I could have used it at that time. Um, so this is what I have so far for this car. As you can see, some of these features don't apply to this car. So when you guys are using the OBD11 for your coding purposes, be particular about what you wanna do because some of the options are not actually associated with the win itself. Uh, like you can see, like, you know, RNS, RNS 310, 315, I don't have that, but it's talking about it. So. You don't want to waste your credits doing it because anytime uh, you do it and then you want to turn it off, there's also credits. So like, you know, for example, if I want to turn the teardrop wiping on, 
on the wipers, it's 10 credits to do it. And then if you ever want to change it back, it's again, 10 credits. Um, I know there's, there's, I can make a different video about what's right, what's wrong about it. But in this video, we just want to talk about the apps of itself. So here it is. Um, so what I want to do now is I actually want to turn the car off and on and see if the needle swap, um, needle sweep works or not. So let's turn the car off. So it's fully off. I'm gonna lock it, unlock it, and let's see. So the needle sweep works actually in there. And the daytime running light that I did because the daytime running light is on, it did not work. Um, yeah, so obviously this is a standard Jedi, it does not have it, so it left a blank. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If there are particular things you guys do wanna see with OBD 11 or something with Volkswagen Audi, please let me know. Thank you guys.